What a great time to be a part of the First Methodist family downtown. We have a strong children and youth ministry. Our music inspires every Sunday. And our discipleship has just gone to a new level through our Lenten emphasis on Christian to the core. In so many ways, we and the First Methodist family downtown are living at our mission to bring people to Christ, grow disciples, and impact this city, and through this city, the world, for Christ. And you know, though, that a part of that mission means constantly reaching out in new and intentionally innovative ways to connect with people and bring them to the Lord Jesus Christ so that we can continue building this church and continue making a great city even greater for the Lord Jesus. I believe that a part of that is ensuring that we have safe, relevant, and welcoming facilities for everyone who comes in. And I want to invite you to consider all the exciting things that are happening in that arena. Some exciting progress and renovation has already taken place with the beautiful restoration of the stained glass windows in the sanctuary. For so many years, these windows have been a source of inspiration for countless individuals. Now, future worshipers also will be able to experience God's presence through the light and the images. In addition, outside, we're starting some very exciting things. From Clay Street, a new, much wider and gentler ramp will be developed and will allow easy entrance for those with wheelchairs or walkers or moms pushing baby strollers. Once inside, this access will continue with a new ramp right up into the sanctuary. All God's people in whatever situation will be able to come through the front door into this house of worship. When you look at the plans for the new entry and relocated welcome center, you will see how gracious, secure, and beautiful the entrance will become. A columbarium is a place for the respectful and public storage of cinerary urns. The renovation covers the building of a beautiful and perpetually cared for final resting place. The new columbarium and prayer garden will be a place for prayer and honoring those members of the first family who have loved us and gone on before in the love of Christ. That's phase one. Phase two in this process will include renovations that basically redesign and reimagine the first floor as you come into the house of God here at Main and Clay. First, we'll be moving our welcome center, bookstore, and chapel. We'll need to do this to allow ramped access through the main door of the sanctuary for all God's people. We'll keep the reverent and classy look and feel of the chapel, but move it to a more visible and suitable location in a larger area with outside light. It'll be beautiful. A new welcome center will be in a more central location and more easily accessible to everyone who comes into the church. A new commons area will be a great place for fellowship. The bookstore, such a big draw to our church on Sundays and throughout the week, will be in a more visible spot and immediately apparent to everyone coming into the church during the week. And finally, to reach more young families with the good news of Jesus Christ, we must update our children's ministry spaces. Many churches have invested in their spaces for young families, and it's important for us to send a message that downtown is a great place to bring your kids. What follows a virtual tour of this new space, I think you're going to be excited by it. First Methodist has seen so many changes over the years, from moving to the corner of Maine and Clay, which so many thought was too far out of town, to moving from pole-mounted ceiling fans to air conditioning, going from radio to live television broadcasting to web streaming now, people all over the world watching our worship services. This church has been willing to do whatever it takes 
to reach a broken and hurting and sinful world with the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe Houston needs the unique witness of First Methodist downtown. And I believe you value this witness too. Please join with me in praying about a generous contribution to this effort. For without our help, this church cannot do what it needs to do to impact this city and through this city, the world for God. Loving Jesus, loving First Methodist, loving downtown, now and for generations to come.